Well, I was invited by Mel from Mel's Weight Loss Journey to be part of a collab, uh, a fast food makeover. I <clears throat> picked uh, the Outback, which I know is not a fast food restaurant, but it's a restaurant. I think when I showed her, told her that, she said it would be fine. But um, it's uh, Alice's Spring Chicken, which is one of my, well, it's the go-to meal when I go to um, Outback. That's, that's the only meal I ever order is an Alice's Spring Chicken. So uh, it is um, six points on the green plan, six points on the blue plan, and seven points on the green plan. Um, <clears throat> once again, I wanted to thank Mel for including me. I'll check all the people in the description box down below and uh, go over to their channel and see what they've decided to pick. If this is the first time visiting my, my channel, my name is Sandy. Um, I'm following the blue plan on Weight Watchers or WW. I have lost 81 pounds so far. And um, I'm determined to hit my goal this year, so I have another hmm, 60 to go. <laughs> but I'm going to do it, so stay with me so we can do it. I do a daily vlog. Uh, I do a recipe of the week. On Saturdays, I recap the meeting, do the meeting highlights. Um, I do shout-outs. I love doing collabs and tags. But um, once again, I wanted to thank Mel from Mel's Weight Loss Journey. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started and see how this turns out. Okay, these are the ingredients you're gonna need. Um, you're supposed to have four pounds of chicken. Uh, I have three chicken breasts that comes just under two pounds. So I'm gonna do the three. I'm still gonna figure that it's for four people though, or four servings. And you need some sliced mushrooms, um, some plain low fat yogurt. Right. Let me make sure. Yeah, plain, non-fat yogurt, uh, some reduced fat Mexican cheese or any kind of cheese that you want, as long as it's reduced fat. Some honey, some light mayo, olive oil, some spray for your pan, some seasoned salt, some regular French onion or some yellow, uh, yellow mustard. I'm going to use some center cut bacon, and um, you're supposed to have your have your choice of either onion, onion flakes or green onions. I'm going to use the green onions instead. So let me turn you around, and then we'll get started. Okay. Okay. This is the first time I'm making this recipe, so we're all going to do this together. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I put four slices of bacon on my uh, tray, my microwave tray, and I'm going to cook this because I want it to be crispy. Um, I'm going to cook it for three three minutes and 30 seconds. So put this in the microwave first. And then this, what you should have done first is what I did was I pounded the chicken to make it a little bit thinner. And I put the seasoning in, which was a half a teaspoon of uh, seasoning salt. I actually used the whole tape teaspoon. Um, and you do it on both sides and you let it sit with the seasoning on it for five minutes. Right now we're cooking the uh, bacon and uh, the next step is to start cooking the chicken. So um, let's get the pan hot. Turn you around. And you want to make sure your pan is hot. And we're going to saute the chicken about three to five minutes on each side, but we're going to make sure that the pan is hot first. Um, you don't want to put cold food into a cold pan. You want it to be hot. And let me get my measuring spoon. And what we're going to do is, we're, first of all, we're going to spray the pan, let it get a little hot. I just use Pam. That's all I use. And then we're going to put in a teaspoon and a half of um, olive oil. Let me find my teaspoons here. I'm just going to use a half a teaspoon and use a three. I don't know. I got a teaspoon right here. So we're going to put a teaspoon and then a half. And we're just going to let that get a little hot. Mix it around a little bit. Um, your 
flame you probably want about medium. I have a gas stove, so I don't know how it would work on an electric. I don't like cooking on electric. So now we're going to add our chicken. And if you hear it sizzling, that means your pan is hot enough. And we're going to cook it about five minutes on this side. Let me turn you around and we'll prepare the uh, mixture that we're going to put on. So we are going to add, I've already pre-measured some of this stuff out. Um, we're going to mix the mustard. i got to get a spatula one moment. We're going to add a quarter cup of mustard. And then a quarter cup of honey. Mix that together. Um, they said you could use uh, a spicy mustard if you wanted, but not a brown mustard. So let's check the uh, bacon. bacon is crispy and then we're going to put our mushrooms in a cup of mushrooms for one minute in the microwave just to get soft so we'll let that get soft and then we're going to make our mixture here together we're going to mix it together and to this we're also going to add two tablespoons of um, yogurt Oh, Jim heard that. He doesn't. Well, he doesn't like the sound of that. But I'm telling him he's gonna love it. Mix that in too. And then also after that, we're gonna add in um, the mayonnaise, which we need two tablespoons of mayo. You just want to make sure they're soft, which they are. Make sure your hands are clean, too. And then after you get this all mixed together, you're going to either add the diced onions or the or the green, green onions, which I'm going to do, which is just, they said um, a teaspoon. Um, I added a little bit more because I like the onions. So, but this is what the... Uh, the mixture looks like. We got a couple more minutes before we got to flip the chicken over. So let me do that. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, crumple up the bacon. So that uh, we can just put it on. It doesn't have to be really small, but just, just enough to, you know, like when you're coating the Nope, this one got a little bit too done. They're crumbling right on the thing. I'll just turn that over. That should be good. And then show you the chicken. We're gonna flip the chicken around. Good. And we're going to cook that for about five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, now the chicken is cooked. Uh, I cooked it about five minutes on each side and I put a temperature uh, thermometer in it. They're 145, so um, you still have to cook in the oven, so we should be fine. So now we're going to just put uh, some of the mixture on top of the uh, chicken. And 
And then uh, you're supposed to have two, like I said, four chicken breasts, but I'm just doing three pretty good sized chicken breasts. But the recipe calls for uh, four people, uh, for uh, four. So and then you put some mushrooms on each of the layers. I actually could have probably used a little bit more mushrooms, but because Jim and I like mushrooms. So then what you're going to do is put more of the mixture on top. It does smell good, though. I'll give you that. Uh, I did sp uh, spray the bottom of the pan um, just so that the chicken wouldn't stick to it when it was baking. And then you just add your crumbled bacon. And sprinkle your cheese on it kind of evenly. Okay, that's what it looks like. We're going to put it in the oven and we're going to bake it at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, there's the finished chicken. Um, I ended up, I did cook it for um, 20 minutes because the... Uh, I didn't pound the chicken thin enough, but I'll let you know how we like it. Okay, let's see how this tastes. So I, it's my favorite meal to eat at the Outback, so we'll see. I want to get a little bit of everything. I got my mushroom and the cheese and the bacon. I like it. I like it a lot. We'll see. The real test will be Jim. What's your thoughts? I've never had it, but it tastes good. So if this is what it tastes like at the restaurant, then you did fine. It does taste like the restaurant. So I'm not just saying that, it really is good. Okay. Well, it got Jim's approval. Jim is my husband. Jim is not on any kind of a weight program and he doesn't really like a uh, white skin chick or white meat chicken. Um, he's a dark, dark meat type of guy even with the turkey so I was a little wondering if he'd like it and you know he really liked it he really enjoyed it and I have to say and I'm not a bragging it did taste like the uh, Outbacks obviously the Outbacks is a little bit better than mine I'm not going to take full credit that I can go work at uh, Outback as a chef but um, it actually turned out pretty good and I really liked it I had um, some left over and um, I put it in little packages. I'm going to freeze it. I'll let you know how it freezes up because I don't eat meat on Fridays and uh, I'm filming this on Thursday. And um, I'm not one to hold food over in the refrigerator. So uh, I'm just going to put it in the freezer and I'll have it for a meal another day. Actually, uh, Jim ate the whole piece of chicken. I ate a half of one of them and I, st and I cut the other one in half. So I have two servings that I would. And then, uh, there's six points on the uh, blue plan and the purple plan and seven points on the, I mean, I take that back. It's six points on the blue plan and the green plan and it's seven points on the purple plan. But uh, thank you for checking this channel out. Thank you for sticking through it and seeing my collab. If you try this recipe, let me know. I really am interested to see how you like it. And uh, go in the description box below and check out everybody and go to Mel's channel first. And uh, thank her for including all of us and getting some ideas for some recipes. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment, and share. And uh, hopefully you will subscribe and I'll see you on my daily vlog.